Going Koro. Get it? Koro? Kor Koro? 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 -in. I think I fixed it. I think we're good. Does that look okay to you? Hold on. You can't even see it. I can see it. That looks fine. All right. Where'd they go? This is not winner's finals, though. This is not. All right. Well, it's going to be winner's finals for about... Are you guys button checking? X seconds. Nope. Dude, Oro the Young God doesn't need a button check going from... Uh... Doesn't even need a button check going from melee to Smash 4. Oro confirms not Music King. Yeah, Music King needs about an 80 second button check. It's super obnoxious when you're the one streaming it. But I digress! Right now, Lucas versus. Lucas is a weird pick versus. Uh, versus Corrin. Because I don't know if Lucas is fast enough to really get in after. Uh, after Dragonlance lands. So it's this weird little dynamic He's where, like, at a certain range, Lucas is going to be campy, but at a certain range, Corrin is going to be campy. Yeah, he definitely can't punish the Dragon Lunge unless he's right there and Corrin goes the wrong way or goes straight up. Mm -hmm. Is that car always there on the right side of the stage? No, it's only there when uh, when the giraffe's there. Because she's only she only comes from town from time to time. I've never noticed. That up here actually gonna steal out the stock though from from Crash. Putting Aura in a pretty decent position here. Yeah, this is Aura's first time in a Smash 4 tournament since like Smash and Splash. I don't think he did Smash 4 there, but he did Smash 4 there. He did Smash 4 there? Yeah, at least. Oh, that's right. He got a really good episode. He, I think he drowned in his pools though. No, he definitely made it out for like oh, he did? top 32. He he got top 32 or top something, I don't know. It was 64. And Aura's got to be careful because these uh all these dragon shots can be absorbed. And that's big healing for Lucas cuz that's a fairly powerful move. Hmm. Reflected is a two option too with that baseball bat. Oh yeah, the baseball bat does reflect projectiles. Boom! Back throw. Nice pivot grab that there. Is a Set that up. And these nares are really stopping all of Crash's combo game. Again, uh, short stubby characters generally have a problem with characters with big disjoints, and Corrin certainly has those. Mm -hmm. Corrin has a very large chainsaw sword thing. That turns into a lance and turns into all sorts of junk. It's interesting to see what character Crash goes and why. Up our lands, but not only enough here to KO. Have you seen anything of Crash from singles earlier today? Ooh! I played him in singles. Did he go Lucas? Oh no, not Crash. I'm sorry. I played Oro in singles. I did not get to see any of Crash in singles. Oro taking that first game. Oro is. Uh, yeah, Oro. He, find, he finds the tipper spike, or not the tipper spike, the tipper, uh, tipper lance. That that kills at like 80 on the ledge. That kills at like cast, so. 60 with rage. Yeah. Plus it was Smashville, which has pretty small walls. Mm -hmm. Go to town. Um, I see Lucas is go here a lot because they want that up throw and they want that uh, down throw up there. Yeah, I he hasn't really been fishing for it. He didn't fish for it in the kill situation there. I mean, he did get a grab in the kill situation, and he was just fortunate enough to be on the ledge to, throw, to get the back throw. So maybe maybe the opportunities will present themselves more here. It also just gives them room to throw that PK fire whenever they just want to run away and throw PK fire. Yeah, it can be hard for Corn to approach through that. She's very slow. Yeah, random uh, random Whoop. mobility. Uh-oh. Don't tech that back throw, or tech tech with the back roll. That can spell trouble. Yeah, that, uh, the bite catching a lot of people off guard. Mm -hmm. That is always present. Like, no matter, every, every time you shoot the dragon shot, it shoots out the bite. But there's a quick stock here for Oro, and he's up a lot against Crash. Which way is he going to go? Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, what's this angle? Okay, he it. that looked really, really difficult. If you tech that, you get a second one. Yeah, if you. I that's think, a really like, weird mechanic. You I have a little frame window to up B again. I think that's a, like a Smash 64 mechanic, maybe? Definitely not. No, well. That's definitely new to this I, game. I, I know there's a lot of. Uh, like, I, I, thought, I feel like they could have done that in previous games, too. But maybe it's new to this game. But that's weird because that, he's the only character that can do that, the, the PK kids. Yeah. It doesn't really make much sense. Lucas's recovery is already good, so it doesn't really. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really need it. Ness, however, does. Ness certainly does. Alright, that down 
air gets shielded entirely there by Crash, but he misses the punish. Yeah, Lucas looks like he's gonna. He have definitely a lot of can't deal with that. Yeah. I mean, I, Flipper Flipper says he goes corn on PK Boys, even though he's not a corn main primarily. He says the matchup's almost unwinnable. So, hmm. almost. Nothing's unwinnable except for maybe Bowser Me Gunner, but <laughs> either way, Oro looking really really clean. Why is that your go-to unwinnable matchup? Because Bowser's not allowed to shield in that matchup. You can't. Do you know what happens? No. We'll discuss it later. But okay. Oh, that was a good bait there. Oro playing some serious mind games right now on the ground. And he's in Crash's head. All right, yeah, that's going to kill maybe after one or two more. I don't know if it's a little bit stale now. Going to go for it again? Yeah, yeah the next one certainly so. will. He's at 150, and this is town. He has no rage. He doesn't have rage. That'll do it. Guess it doesn't matter. There it is, 2-0 for Oro. And he plays, uh... Who's he play? Fax. No, Fax is on the other side of losers. Uh, Archie, my bad. Archie. Okay, Oro plays Archie.